Hello friends, hi, how are we today? I hope we are all doing well. I am planning this week with the Inspire Kit from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. for April 3rd through April 9th, uh, aka the week before everything went to absolute shit. Um, April was a very, very, very hard month for me. And um, I have a little bit procrastinated making this video because I really didn't know how I was going to address everything that happened. And I want to be truthful, honest, and transparent, and it is hard because this is, uh, this was a very scary time in my family's life, and, um, it was a scary time, um, because I couldn't be in control of things that happened, and I had to be an adult, and I don't like that. <laughs> um, so essentially, uh, before I even started this video, I had to unpack the total guilt that went along with this week. And that was really, really, really hard because I have nothing to be guilty for. Uh, the things that happened, um, were entirely out of my control. And this is, a uh, this and the next video will be a hard one to make, and I understand if you want to skip it. Um, but a brief synopsis is that uh, my dad had ended up in the hospital because he had a stroke. And while that doesn't really sound scary or like a big deal compared to a lot of other issues that have happened, um, it was hard for us. So um, I had to deal with a lot of that before I made this video, but thankfully I have been and um, everyone should be in therapy and um, part of my therapy is doing these spreads and realizing and memory planning and doing all of this stuff because it's important to me um, to remember the good times as well as the bad. Now, I will also say my dad is still alive. He is much better and he is home from the hospital. We'll get into that when we get into that, but um, right now, you know, this is where I'm at with this spread. And I didn't think, I didn't think that I would find it so hard to talk about. Uh, going into the actual technical details of this spread, uh, I realized there were no glitter headers, so I had to use decorative headers. And I like using decorative headers in order, whereas glitter headers I just pull from anywhere because I don't care. It doesn't matter. And I've been doing the trick for the last few weeks with my plan with me's that I will move up the to do headers at the top so I can create more space at the top of the page for the date covers. And that just gives me a tiny bit more space uh, for my day by day. And uh, then also just um, doesn't make it quite so white spacey at the top. Um, but this one, I just realized I needed to put in my decorative date covers before I put in um, my to-dos and then put in my actual, or sorry, my decorative headers before I put in my to-dos and then my actual date covers just because I decided to go straight across with my full boxes this week. Um, some days I really didn't have that much going on. Some days I had a lot going on. Um, I did not like my spacing for a couple of the days in this spread. Uh, and I will also apologize. There was a bruise on my hand. You can very clearly see it on my right hand just by my thumb. At some point in this video, you're going to see me realize that I have a bruise on this and press it. And press it again. Because do you even have a bruise if you don't press it to see if it hurts? Let me just let you know, it hurts a lot. I don't know how I got a bruise on my thumb that bad, but here we are. Um, but I felt, uh, especially because I have been using sweet tea kits for, oh gosh, is this number one or number two? So this, this one, the one before, and then did I do the last week in March? Yeah. So this is my third week in a row using a sweet tea kit. I don't know if it's because I've been using sweet tea kits so much because I'm so used to her format, but, um, this week, even planning it, I realized that this is a long plan with me, but I did have a lot of my day-by-day -day stuff. Um, 
I just, this just felt like a breeze. The base lay down on this just felt like an absolute breeze to plan. I enjoyed it. I feel like I'm getting into the comfort zone with my sidebar. And uh, I just love this kit and how this entire kit turned out. Um, so occasionally, Christy will do a kit. And what will be in the kit is like, it's just a big picture. And you can really lay the full boxes down any way you want. But either way, it just looks beautiful no matter which way you do it she also did this with a mermaid kit uh, and I use that I think once or twice I've definitely bought it at least two times maybe three times um, but yeah my spacing again was a little bit off things felt a little bit crooked now in hindsight I realized I angled things down here but excuse me um, I think it still looks fine and now we get into the reason for the season, which is the day by day. Uh, so first things first, I think, uh, oh no, sorry, I laid my hockey stickers down. This just was the second last week of hockey before the playoffs. Uh, so Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then I don't know the next two days uh, beyond that in the next week, but we'll get to that. Um, I wasn't watching a lot of hockey, but uh, the next week, but again, we'll get into the next week when we get into it. I have to just do it and plan it. Like I enough procrastinating. And it, the worst part is like, it's a gorgeous kit. Like, I'm sorry that I have to bring up all the bad stuff in that kit, but whatever. Uh, so I am just doing the same thing that I did last week because I still had those little bows from the extra deco sheet I got from Paisley Prince Co. So um, I did daycare drop off and I used the bows to note daycare drop off. Then I did groceries and then um, I went on a five and a half kilometer walk with my kiddo. Uh, and then I had a long, long, long nap with him. Uh, and you will see the reason why very shortly. Um, then this was actually gifted to me by Rachel, my OG planner friend. Um, and I just have this pumpkin paper co girl to know that this was the first barbecue of the year. I was really excited about it. My husband had cleaned off our barbecue. Everything was good. Uh, and then I used, and this sticker doesn't match. I know, but again, I'm trying to use what I have. Um, I just used the monster headache sticker from Fox and Cactus because I had a headache all day. And then my husband and I that night watched our show, which is Oak Island. Uh, I used a paper and milk Maru the next morning just to note that my husband had his regular doctor's appointment. Nothing special. Uh, but I do like to note when he has them just so that I can like remind myself if he's like, hey, how long has it been since I've had an appointment? Uh, so next up, I just noted that I had started my kiddo in his crib instead of his bassinet. I used a crying icon to note that, but... Um, Honestly, he took to his crib. He did not, he does not like sleeping on me. Um, like for naps he does, but like he likes to be in his crib. He likes to spread out. It, I, I've noted crib training because this was like a hard, no, like not a really hard week, but anyway. Um, so just to mark crib training that I used a Sweet Tea Sticker Co. icon. I had to buy some pet food. I know that I marked it last week. I don't think I actually bought it last week. I think I bought kitty litter the week before. And then I just noted that I went on a four kilometer walk. Uh, after which that evening, my kiddo came home from daycare and promptly threw a tantrum from 3.30 until 5.30 p.m. So I marked that with a Coffee Monsters Co. icon. And then I started uh, the book called The Last Heir to the Blackthorn Library. It was not, uh, I don't recommend it. It's, it. It was, it had such a strong premise and then it just got really weird really quickly. It wasn't it, it was a bit of a slog to get through, um, especially after such like a good streak of really good books. So I'm just a bit disappointed in it, but whatever. I read it this week. Uh, and then I noted on Wednesday that my kiddo was five months old. Um, and then I used an icon just from the kit with, uh, two of the flowers from the flower checklist to note that I made orders from Sammy Lynn Planning and the Prairie Planner this day. It's a bit squished here. This is where I really particularly dislike my spacing, but whatever. Uh, and then I used the icon from the kit to note laundry. And I will bring in a laundry script. And that is from Sweetie Sticker Co. Um, heading down to the bottom of the week. Uh, there were thunderstorms this day. And I feel like we have fewer and fewer days of actual weather. Um, so, like, we've had weeks and weeks and weeks of no precipitation and today which is June the 13th we've had 
lots of weather. Um, it's been raining pretty well since last night. Actually, it hasn't stopped raining since last night. Um, so it's, um, nice to, you know, just mark when we do have weather because, you know, climate and crisis, globe and crisis, whatever. Um, and I don't know why I decided to do this on camera. This took me so long to actually do. I'm at like 1.5 speed for this video. <laughs> <laughs> and this took up so much of the time just because I felt like I needed to, well, I know why I did it because it's on Wednesday. Uh, I still hate how I do S's. So you'll notice that pretty much anytime there's a word that has an S in it, um, almost, I would say like 90% of the time it's going to be filled in because I feel like that looks better than when I just leave it empty. But, um, and then that beautiful red pen that you see is going to go away very shortly because my pen gave out. I, I think I've talked about this in other plan with me's, but I have to use a pen until it's finished. I can't start a new one. So even though I have a lot of the Kleena 0.4 Energels, like I have to finish this red one and it bugs me because it doesn't match the season, but I have to finish it. Uh, then I just used another one of those paw icons to note that I clipped the cat's nails. I don't clip the cat's nails. That's almost exclusively my husband's job. So I just marked it. And then I did, uh, two reps of weights and abs or two sets of reps with weights and abs. And then I just used another icon from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Uh, I stayed up late reading that night. On to Thursday, again, that bow and daycare drop off and then um, more crib training. Uh, finished the last heir to the Blackthorn Library and it, like I gave it three stars, but that's being super duper gen generous. It, again, it was such a good premise and then it just turned into like, it just got really weird. Like, there were so many good options for this book and it just got really weird. It felt like the author didn't know how to end it and chose a bizarre ending that didn't make sense, but whatever. Uh, then I just used again an icon from the kit to note that I made peanut noodles for lunch. I don't know. I had plenty to mark on this day. I don't know why I felt I needed more, but whatever. Uh, and then I used a Fox and Pip icon to note that my... Baby had a daytime bath. This is going to be a trend. He and his brother are sort of split baths now. Um, and then I used a paper and milk Maru to note that I got a window quote. So if you recall in my last video, I spent a lot of time trying to get a hold of the original um, window place that we had used previously and that had given us a quote and they didn't. So I called, got a new quote and they came and they actually did it within the week, um, which is phenomenal. Uh, then I used a Fox and Cactus Fox family with the two little kids and a family time script from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Just to note that we had a great evening as a family. It was really lovely. On Friday, I believe it was Good Friday, there was no daycare. Um, so I marked that. That sort of took up a big chunk of our day. But I definitely haven't been sleeping great at night. Um, I think the body knew before I knew something was up we'll get into it. Um, and so I just used the icon from the kit and did big lettering that said coffee. Uh, and then I used a coffee monsters co from mom life part two, the little kid at the slide, uh, just to know that we did outdoor play in our backyard, which was so nice. Uh, and then my kiddo and I baked banana bread, um, which was lovely. It's our favorite activity to do together. He's really good at mashing the bananas. Uh, then another Coffee Monsters Co. icon. Just to note that we changed the sheets on his bed. Um, I don't know how I instilled like a chore-loving kid into my child, but day-to-day -day chores loves them. Vacuuming, swiffering, laundry. My kid loves them. But changing the sheets on anybody's bed in our house by far his favorite thing in the entire world. And I promise I will move my planner up. Um, and then I just used a stressed out emoji to note that neither of my children napped. I'm not really a huge, it's not a huge deal for my older kid, but for, you know, the five month old, pretty big deal. Um, so my husband, lovely husband took, uh, my kiddo, um, my older kiddo over to his parents for a quick visit for some reason that night. I don't know why I didn't move my planner up. Sorry about that. Um, I just finished off Friday noting that I put both the boys to bed and I filmed a plan with me. Saturday, I FaceTime my mom and I FaceTime my dad. Um, 
my kid thinks that FaceTiming is the best thing in the entire world. So, I, you know, who am I? And my parents love it. So, um, then we went for a nice walk in my baby fell asleep in the stroller, which was so lovely. And so I used a Fox and Pip icon to note that I took both of them to the park and then was just able to like push my kid on the swing and let him go on the slide while his brother slept in the stroller, which was such a lovely relief from being up all day, every day. Next, uh, in the afternoon, another Fox and Pip icon. I, I swear to God, I moved my planner up. Uh, just to know that we had a play date. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Finally, Alex. Um, uh, just to know that we had a play date. They asked that I not put their names in the video, so I don't do that. And then I used a Dash of Sun Designs uh, YouTube uh, icon hand-drawn by Chelsea. Um, just to note that I edited and uploaded my plan with me. So that was lovely. Then on Sunday, I did laundry and I used a Fox and Pip icon for that with a Sweet Tea Sticker Coke script. And I FaceTimed my mom and then I had the most amazing visit with my dad and his dog. And again, as I said, I have a lot of guilt over this visit because I wonder if because we went for such a long walk, this impacted everything that happened. It didn't, but it doesn't matter. It was still a lovely, lovely, lovely visit. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. I haven't even marked that I FaceTimed my mom. Um, so I just did a half box because he did stay for like five hours. My dad normally only stays for a couple of hours because he doesn't like driving uh, and he lives quite far, but it was really nice of him to come. So he stayed for a really long time. And then, um, we, uh, this is when we had gone for a long walk. The weather was absolutely beautiful. And my dad had just gotten out of the hospital from the week before, uh, from, uh, another issue unrelated. So it, it, I wondered if my long walk anyway, doesn't matter. Then my older kiddo had another bad tantrum. We just did more crib training. Uh, and I got both of my kids to sleep by 6 30 PM. Cause it was just a rough time, but they, they slept right through. Uh, and then my husband and I just spent some time together, like decompressing from the tantrums. Um, so that was my entire week. I really enjoyed filming this. I love how this spread turned out. Uh, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.